Now I welcome you to a short field tour showing you mostly land races of spring wheat, Triticum estivum, from the Nordic countries. The first row is actually not a land race but a modern cultivar called Vignette, a Swedish spring wheat cultivar released in 1989. For comparison with the old land races, I planted this row close to the others and repeated it sometimes in between. The next one is a Danish land race called Östby. We don't have more land races from Denmark in the collection of the Nordic uh, Genetic Resource Center, but in Finland it was possible in the 1980s to still collect traditional land races of spring wheat. So here you see one of those and we have several uh, land races from Finland. Here you see them, the next one all finish, uh, the next two look similar and then you have one aunt type of spring wheat land race also from Finland. The next one is also aunt and another aunt one but also again the ornless type. And another land race and here in comparison the modern cultivar. You see instantly that the older land races tend to lodge, mature a little bit earlier and the heads are not as compact as in the modern cultivar. The grain yield is lower in the land races than the modern cultivar but the modern cultivar needs also more uh, nutrition from the soil which is supplied today usually by artificial fertilizers in particular nitrogen is important for the modern cultivar to realize its yield potential. And the next four plots are again land races from Finland and then three wheat land races from Norway and here it starts now with land races from Sweden the first one called Dala the next one Dalana one without horns the other with horns and right beside with a small white label that is the modern cultivar vignette in comparison to the land races, again you see it is shorter and has more compact heads, stands upright while the land races tend to lodge. And the next rows, again Swedish land races, Halland and another Landwete van Darlana, Landwete van Halland and a land race called Wester Gödland and the last row again the modern cultivar of spring wheat called Vignette released in 1998. All this material is planted for characterization by the Nordic Genetic Resource Center and what is typical for land races sometimes they can be mixtures and in particular in this plot here, the Landwete Fran Darlana, I isolated several different types of ears in one row and will take a closer look at those. Land races are not as homogeneous as modern cultivars like this one, the Swedish cultivar released in 1989. This material is hardly cultivated in agriculture today, but is preserved by gene banks for future use.